To begin, go over to this new item icon over here and select Universal Counting Ledger and make sure that the video settings matches your sequence. So we have a 19, 20, 10, 80 dimension over here and check the frames per seconds to fit your sequence. This is 30 frames per seconds. You may also want to change the aspect ratio to fit what you're trying to create for Instagram, whatever social media platform you're trying to create it for and hit OK. And once you do that, you'll be greeted with this window. So we have the white color over here, which signifies this color over here. We have the background color, which is this white over here. You can always select it and pick a color you prefer. For example, you could hit red and hit OK. But I'm going to change that back to the previous color, which was um, a darkish ash over there and you can also change the background color you can change the line color which are these lines over here the target color you could change the numeral color which is the number of your text and you could also select if you want a sound to beep out at the end if you do not want a sound at the end you uncheck this i'm going to leave it at that now for the audio you have the option to make it give a beep sound at two seconds when it counts down from eight down to two or you want it to beep at every countdown so i'm going to select beep at every countdown over here and hit um okay now i'm going to drag this counting ledger onto my timeline over here and if i go to the beginning and hit play you can see what we have created one other thing i like to do is i could come over to lumetri color over here and scroll down to vignette and you could add a vignette to this clip Another thing you could do if you do not want these intros over here, if you want it to start directly from the countdown, you can move to exactly where the countdown began and hit Q to cut out the intro. And if you hit play, it's going to start exactly from the countdown. And that's it guys on how to create this universal larger countdown in Premiere Pro.